So I checked on my 300 gallon tank and I have noticed a bit of an issue today. When I checked in today, I realized that one of my axolotls has suffered an injury. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out. She's eating food right now, so she's probably not going to be very happy with what I'm doing. If you look, she is missing her right front arm. And since I haven't seen it floating around in the tank, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that they ate it off of her. I've put together a little tub filled with the water from her tank and I'm going to put her into this little tub. Since she was just eating and it's feeding time, I'm going to give her some pellets. Also going to give her a catapa leaf. This doubles, um, it releases tannins into the water that are antibiotic, antifungal. Um, it'll help soothe the wound and the skin from irritation. And it also provides a little bit of shelter for her so she doesn't feel so exposed without anything in her little tub. Um, a lot of times when I turn the light on, I'll find them hiding underneath the leaf. Right now the leaf floats, but in a few days it'll sink so that she can hide underneath of it and use it as a temporary hide before it starts to break down. Uh, it'll also turn the water a little bit yellow. Um, while she's in this tub, I'm going to do 100% water changes every single day. And the reason that she's in this tub, the reason I'm going to put her in here and not leave her in her tank is because she needs to be able to heal. Um, a lot of times I've seen it very common where if they have an injury, the others just seem to keep attacking that injury. I'm not sure if it's just the smell of blood in the water or what, but it seems that if they aren't given time to heal, they just get more injuries or they get an infection, um, they get bullied. So I'm going to give her time to heal on her own, separate. Um, this way she doesn't have to compete for food. Um, although she was having a pretty okay time when I checked on her just now in the big tank. She was grubbing down. A lot of people seem to freak out when this happens. When this happens, it's not the biggest deal. It happens all the time and it's very rare for an axolotl to die because they lost a limb. Some things that cause limbs to get lost is just not spreading the food out enough, not having enough room for them to hide from others, not having enough hides. Um, if they're stuck in too small of a space, it's more uh, common for this to happen. And a lot of people will say that it's more common in babies, and that's why you have to separate the babies. However, I have found that not to be true. I believe that they're just as cannibalistic as adults as they are when they are babies. However, when they're adults, they can't swallow each other whole because they're all relatively the same size. Although the trouble is that they will lose a limb. Obviously, we had enough room, we had enough hides in here, and it's just one of those things, like freak accidents, that just happens. So that's all for today. If you guys ever do have a problem like this, feel free to post in the comments section below. Um, if it does get to the point where it's just not getting better, it's getting worse, it's getting a lot of fungus on it, I would recommend putting an antibiotic in or taking it to the vet, such as um, Furon 2 is a really great antibiotic that I always use if they don't seem to get any better. But luckily, all you should need is some fresh water, maybe some tea baths, um, some catapa leaves, they'll be fine. In some cases, the arm will be dangling from them. In that case, just let it fall off on its own. There's no reason for you to have to cut it off yourself. That's gross. Um, it'll eventually rot off or it'll stay on depending on how severe the injury is. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.